Welcome to Tivolt's Apprentice Luck of the Draw. Challenge accepted. Uh, the last lab report that I did, I put out a challenge to, or I guess we'll call it a challenge, to anybody that wanted to send in a deck to see what we could do to get more people from gold or maybe even bronze to silver to gold to platinum. Uh, what I said I would do is take a look at, uh, look at a deck and see what kind of suggestions I could make that might improve the deck. Now, getting to platinum is beyond any one deck. Um, it comes in lines of play. It comes in all those things that are really important to the game of Magic. And so we're going to discuss those as well as kind of streamline and refine a deck. In fact, I think I'm going to do this in two stages. Um, the first is my initial response to the deck, um, what my gut feeling is, and what I would change and how I would go about making a deck following similar themes. And then secondly, I'll do another video focusing strictly on the deck and maybe only changing creatures and CMC costs of the cards that are in there. Um, we kind of have our, our checklist of things to look for that should be in every deck, those five things that I talked about in a previous video. Um, right now, we're going to take a look at the deck as it was submitted to me. And first of all, let me say that nothing I say is a condemnation of the deck or what you're going for. Um, it's just playing a little bit differently. So, uh, well, first of all, let's just say the first game that I played with this deck, I won. So that's a good sign. Um, but there's a few things that I would tweak and just look for. And I'm hoping that by going through this process, we, both you and I, can come up with better strategies for both of us. Um, indeed, one of the cool things about this challenge is it allows me to play with cards that I wouldn't normally do. Maybe see them arranged in a, a way that I hadn't thought of yet. So I think working together, we're going to have some fun with this. At least that's my hope. So having said that, we're going to take a look at the deck as it was submitted. Uh, Platinum, Platinum 001. Okay, this was the initial deck. So looking at it, I'm not going to go through and name every card. You can see them here on screen. These are the cards that were initially submitted. And you can see right off the bat that we have a lot of low CMC cards, which is good. Um, we also have here, um, well, is, uh, here's the things I'm gonna start to pick apart a little bit. Now, the first thing I notice is there are 63 cards in the deck. Always keep them to 60. In fact, I'll include a little insert here with a uh, discussion of hypergeometric calculations. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. Going through the different cards that are here, we see singles of cards uh, that have various effects. And basically, when I counted this up, let's go roll down a little bit further here, there's Boot Nipper. Um, there were something like 11 different keywords that we had activated here in the deck that might be a little much or rather we're going for consistency in wins again it's not about any one win it's about stringing those together and to do that you need to have your deck performing on a regular basis and you need to be able to rely on the cards that are coming in so 11 keywords or more yeah, that might be a little bit much. So I like that guy a lot. Anyhow, um, so we'll get we'll get into that and we'll discuss it a little bit more here later. So this was the initial deck. Hopefully you can see all the cards here. Let's take a quick look at the stats on the deck. Uh, 15 1 CMC cards, 12 2 CMC. So it's built low to the ground, which is good. Fast is always good. Uh, 26 creatures, that's good. Uh, a few sorceries, a few artifacts, a few, and even 24 land. Um, I'm, of course, going to say you need more than that. But here's my response to the deck, a deck that I designed 
thinking back on this one, reflecting on this one, but kind of following in. Nobody cares about that. Here we go. Platinum. Here we go. Here's my version of it. Um, so we know what our five things are. First of all, we need ramp. So in addition to having 24 lands, we have added in chromatic lanterns to give us a little bit more. They're under that three CMC cost, and they give us a better chance at getting the lands that we need and the colors that we need. Also, you'll notice that I went with a couple of shock lands. Um, I was informed by the builder of the deck that he's not really a fan of shock lands. Well, I understand that. I really do. From the beginning, when I was first introduced to them, I wasn't a fan, but um, the idea of doing damage to just get a land out didn't seem like it made sense to me, but... Um, over lots and lots of playtesting, they're worth it, believe me. Um, but the next version, I'll try to avoid the Shocklands. We'll, we'll see what happens here. Um, basically, because they come into play tapped, and the cards that were in there that gave you uh, scry ability or life gain, uh, they came in tapped. So why not have one you choose to have come in tapped or not? You get them early game, you put them on the board, tapped. If you need them later, you're going to be absolutely thrilled that you can actually tap them and get value from them right away. Anyhow, uh, so we talked about ramp. Now we talk about uh, card draw. What do we have for card draw? So what do we have for card draw? I've forgotten already. Uh, we have... Eh, so we have him in there. He was already in the deck. Um, being able to cycle through the cards... Um, not a lot of card draw, but rather in the form of land. It does do damage to you. It does get you cards that you maybe need in a pinch, though. Uh, so then third, we go on to removal. Of course, there's straight out spot removal. You've got to take that creature out. Murder always does the job. Almost always. Uh, also, the bat. Causing it to be able to destroy a creature and a planeswalker. Always an awesome thing to have. And we also have removal in the form of Shattering Sky. We'll shatter the Sky. Uh, just being able to wipe the board and get a new start, a fresh start, absolutely necessary. Also, I went with, where are we at here? Um, Smothering Tithe to get you that mana. Not really card draw, but also sort of ramp. And we also have, where is it at here? The Wanderer to protect our creatures. But it's the Revenge of Ravens that gives us life gain also. So I've moved this from an early game deck to more of a mid-range deck. And we need some way of protecting ourselves. That's the removal. We need some kind of life gain to keep us in the game long enough to be able to start casting our creatures and being able to wipe things out. Uh, and that's really it. So let's take a look at how this game actually plays out. Um, yeah, here we go. Let's play a game with it and see what happens. We'll go into ranked. Okay, let's see how this deck performs. We're playing at the platinum level, so we should see some interesting decks. Um, I would like to see some creatures in there, but I'm gonna keep this. I have my three land with my ramp, and I have Smothering Tide for ramp. So I really want to be able to draw extra cards if I have nothing but mana laying around. And we'll get this on the board. Wow. They say the shuffler is not broken, but... Yeah. We'll see. 
I mean, every possibility is there in magic, so sure, why not? Well, we're buying some time to get to. We'll see how many of those uh, they want to waste before we get to our creatures. <laughs> sure, why not? Well, let's just do it again. Slowly build up. We are slowly taking damage too, though, so not good. Nice. See if we can't start to rebuild our presence in the board here. The only companion I I'm actually going to get rid of this now so that I can draw into some cards and maybe make something happen. See if they exile it. Well, that's not really a surprise, is it? Uh, let's just go ahead and murder it now before it gets out of hand. And on their turn, well, I guess with that murder, we won't do that. We'll hope that they give us a token or two. Yeah, maybe another one? No? Nothing to do this turn? All right. Let it enter tapped. Pass the turn. Even if that creature had grown, oh, such as this. See if we can draw another murder. No, we can't. But as long as it doesn't have haste, we can deal with it. Oh, but it does, because I had Flash and it brought it in on the end of their turn. Nice. I think I had no creatures in this deck. Amazing. Don't worry. I'll be quick. They're really determined for me not to get any tokens. Well, 
here's where we take advantage of one of those keyword mechanics. No attack? Huh. Well, it could be premature, but let's see what happens here. can say is just wow. Finally something to move the game forward, maybe? A little sad that I'm at three life, though. All right. Surely we'll get to some creatures. There we go. Uh, before anything else, we're going to want to get rid of this. Just so I don't forget and get distracted. Actually, we're going to cancel this. Let it go to their turn. Use it All as a right. weapon. It's useless. At least they're finally giving me some mana. And with that, we'll flash that on the board. another one of these. And we'll keep moving forward with this guy. Now this has switched it to a, obviously a mid-range deck. This is why I'm going to do another I have my tactics. sad. Um, that's why I'm going to do another video focused more on I'm going to say the intent of the original deck as opposed to being my version of a deck. I'm 
Are they just frustrated and gonna let the clock run down? Maybe use those timeouts? We'll see. Well, at this point, you may have noticed that I sped this up. This guy obviously wants to sandbag the game a little bit and make it take that much longer. It happens. I refuse to lean on that button and say it's your go. Do it. No, I'm not going to do it. Do it. No, I'm not that kind of player. I can be mean and annoying in other ways, but that's one way that I refuse to be. Unless it's somebody I know, then I tell them all the time, it's your go. I've heard you do it to Hexamo. <laughs> yes, you have. But after knowing him like 50 years, I think I could do that. Okay. No, nah, not 50 years, 45 years? I don't know. I'm... Wow, they're just going to let the clock run down. Okay. Are you going to win, though? I'm going to win, and that's all that matters. Okay. Well, we're in no hurry. Yeah, exactly. You got nowhere to I, be. I, I've got all day. I've got work half a, half a job at this point. Yeah. it's. Uh, I'm lucky in that fashion. Uh, some people don't even have that at this point. So, um, What better way to spend it than watching Tybalt's Apprentice, Luck of the Draw? So I will... Or this is where it could be annoying and say, um, good game. I'm sure they thought they had it in the bag. Maybe they still do. I could be getting celebrating way too early here. but So anyhow, this is my version of the deck. Uh, you will find uh, below a link. Uh, a link, or rather, you'll find the deck list at this point. Um, and uh, i got to give them a good game before that runs out. So Maybe that's all he's waiting for. An excuse to leave. Probably not the optimal way I would have shown how this deck is supposed to work and everything. Um, but that's my version of it. I have, as you see, get to platinum. Uh, maybe low platinum, but platinum. I've touched diamond. Uh, at any rate, this is the first of the challenge uh, responses. And I'll take that and uh, I'll talk about it much. I enjoyed it. Uh, I really did. Um, I'm going to make another version of the deck more closely resembling the deck list. I don't know if I'm going to keep all 11 of those keywords, though. But at any rate, that is, uh, that's the challenge version 001. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned to Tibble's Apprentice. We will be getting back to doing more EDH content, um, and we will be doing some more interviews and such. And uh, you can always find us on Facebook. That's the best place to keep in contact with us. Or you can email me at madsaxon, M-A-D-S-A-X-X-O-N at yahoo.com. I uh, hope you enjoyed this content. If you have any comments you'd like to make, put them in love or hate. Put them down in the comments below. Um, in the meantime, help us hit our next goal by subscribing. If you do like the content, hit the bell. That would be great. But... Please give us a subscribe. That was a tongue twister. At any rate, thanks for watching.